Hi everybody and good morning from Jeonju in Korea and I'm here with my friend who is it? She came from Italy and she was like what if I come from Italy to Korea and you come from Tokyo and we met there and we just go around Korea and she's completely crazy so she wanted to go around <laughs> several cities so we met in Seoul yesterday and immediately we took a bus and a train to go to Jeonju and uh, in south and the south of in middle of Korea, I say, and uh, we slept for one night in this wonderful Hanok. This is a traditional house, the small room, the smallest thing you can ever see in your life. <laughs> like we were two of us, and we can't, couldn't even open a futon. Uh, it's Japanese bed, you know, because it was too small. You want to say something? No. <laughs> Okay, so you can just walk, walk in front and we can just see. Let me show you. We are in the middle of the traditional village, the Hanok village. You can see people are discussing something. And here we are. This is our hotel. It was, it was so cheap. I mean, it's in August, it's completely full. But the, the, the room with the breakfast was something like... 20, 30 dollar one night was super, super, super cheap. And uh, this is the village itself. Oh, we want to go there first. Yeah, we want to go there. That Sorry, just discussing. Just discussing where are we going. And uh, the atmosphere yesterday night was amazing because uh, it. it can you see the old lady there taking the the wind? And it's a um, let's say a traditional spot, and all the the shops, all the houses are like this. So everything is super traditional. Can you see how wonderful it is? Everything is super traditional. And uh, but all the shops that you have. Uh, you don't have also only traditional food or something. You have the trendy, uh, the trendy, you know, Korean food that you see on Instagram. You have, uh, I don't know, a lot of street food. Uh, you have the um, the boxes to take movies and pictures. It's really amazing. So. I deeply suggest that you stop here. The place where we, uh, well, the place where we stay tonight, that place is called uh, Jungdam, and uh, it was really, really nice. The breakfast was amazing. A lot of fruit, uh, eggs, uh, toast, uh, coffee, tea, you have everything. The place is small, really small, but. Honestly, we were two of us there and we had just have two to be careful when we were moving But it was super nice As you can see a lot of shops in the streets Now it's 1030 and There's not so many people around just some tourists a lot of tourists. You can get here very easily uh, you just have to we left from the airport so we left from Incheon Incheon airport we took a bus we went to a station from there we took a train and in one hour and a half we were here in uh, Jeonju I know my pronunciation is absolutely not correct but yeah and from Jeonju today you can visit in one day everything is super near uh, yesterday we went to see a couple of things that are all around here and uh, then we went to eat the bibimbap that is this thing Jeonju is the, the place where the bibimbap is most famous for and uh, or better Jeonju is famous for the bibimbap which is rice with uh, meat and uh, vegetables on top and we went to a restaurant uh, who you can that you can find wow is the my, my friend is searching for the spreadling searching for this brulee ice cream, ice cream but this is a frozen s'more so it's marshmallow and she can't accept that this is not 
<laughs> she can't accept it anyway. And this is also very famous. Something we eat yesterday. You had yesterday. It's like meat or octopus with um, a spicy and sweet, sweet and spicy. Um, let's say not cream, like topping. Let's say with cheese. And you have the beautiful traditional dresses which we are going to wear today, the Hamburg rental shop. And it's called Hamburg. And you have a lot of these places where you can try also these kind of dresses. You can just dress up, you can take pictures in the photo spot. It's amazing. I love it. Hi, that's me. Hi, hi. And I'm in love with this dress. I want this red one, absolutely. So as you can see, it's traditional place, but full of this photo spot. You have that, that places are like rooms full of props to take pictures. And you can also spend money to take a picture um, in the boxes, of course, with, you know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All, all the village is like this and at the end of this street on top of a bridge there's an amazing I don't know I, I even don't know how to call it it's a, like a traditional structure a bit like this let's say with a platform a wooden platform with a with a, huh? a sort of patio yeah a sort of patio where everyone can freely go and sit down and sing or just sleep there or we just were standing there there was a person a, a person uh, playing the guitar and there was another one uh, singing and I was sleeping. It was wonderful. Sorry? Oh, okay. And this is the Wall Street. So you just go through this street. There are so many shops. As you can see, several of them are still closed. Yeah, another place for dresses. Oh wow, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. And you have all these photo spots, where you can just stay here and take picture with your dress. I love it. You also the couple outfit, it's amazing. And then you go down this street. It's full summer, today is August. 15? No, 14. And then over there, down this street, you have the main um, temples, the main things to see. Honestly, it's just a one day, one day trip, nothing more, because in one day from morning to night, you can see everything. So just, we came yesterday around 4 p.m. We just went to the, um, we just went to the, to the hotel, to the hotel, to the Hanok village. And we just left our things, go around, eat something. You can see a lot of cafe, all in traditional styles, but also you find a lot of, I don't know, modern food, I don't know what to call it. This octopus, we had it yesterday here, the, the meat. The cost is like not even $5, something like that. Super nice, super nice. And then going down this street, you can find everything you need. And we went to, to also down this street on the right, you can find the Michelin restaurant. Anyway, we are going to spend uh, one day here today, and then at 4 p.m. we're leaving for oh my god, Gyeongju. <laughs> Please don't ask me. Another another city in the middle of. Uh, of Korea on the other side, on the east side. Now we are on the west side. And uh, you can see that several of these places have been introduction in television or something. And, uh, and then we're going to Seoul. Hey, and uh, two days in Gyeongju. And uh, at the end we're going to uh, Seoul for three days. My friend is not happy about the price, I guess. 20 euro. One hour. What is that? No, it's about 36 euro. It's about 6 blog. It's about 38 euro an hour. My friend was spent 5 dollars for one hour. So...
<laughs> so my friend has been told that the hammock for one hour cost uh, 20 dollars let's say 20 euros and now she's like no i read that it's six euro i want to do a six euro for one hour so my friend is now trying to, to get a discount so what happened uh, highly suggest to come for one day to Jeonju from Seoul. Just one hour, very nice, super cheap, food is super good, and uh, just one day you can have fun. Just be careful because we wanted to go to the Namok, Namok market, Namba market, Namba market, something like that. But it's open only on Friday, Saturday, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we weren't able to see it. So my friend is trying to get a discount. We'll see if we'll wear the, the hammock today.